Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I just filmed an updated foundation routine. I figured it was about time because my last one I think is definitely over a year old. So I just wanted to share with you guys my updated foundation routine, all the products I'm using, what's changed, what stayed the same, blah 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 blah. And it's definitely a little bit catered more towards like these upcoming winter months if you're in the United States. I know I have a lot of viewers who are outside of the United States, which is really cool. But um, yeah, if you guys want to see how I do my foundation in like the colder weather, then stay tuned and just keep okay. watching. So I'm starting with a completely bare face because I'm going to go through, this might end up being kind of a long tutorial, but I'm going to go through and do like my entire face because my summer and winter foundation routines tend to like change because my skin gets so dry in the winter time and it starts in the fall and I can already feel it like starting to happen. So I'm going to share a few products that I use to help with dry skin. So the first one I use is this, um, this is I only use at night. It's the Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil from Drunk Elephant. Can this focus please? Whatever. So it's really good and for someone who's got like kind of combination skin as I've gotten older. In high school I had really oily skin. Now not so much anymore. But um, it's really good. It doesn't make me break out. It's not clogging and every time I put it on my skin like fully absorbs it. It doesn't leave greasy residue so that's why I really like this one and I only use that at night and then for the daytime I use this is like my favorite moisturizer it's from Glossier and it's the priming moisturizer in rich sorry if I sound really stuffy I have really bad like seasonal allergies right now there's a lot of mold in the air and I've been sneezing all day so I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my face it smells like essential oils and I love it I feel a sneeze coming already. Ah, uh, I need to take a Zyrtec. Okay, so I just put like a few dollops all over my face. I don't know why my allergies are so bad today. Must be a high percentage in the air. And so then I'm just gonna rub it into my face. Okay, so now that that's done, you can see that it leaves like a really do we finish on the skin, which I like, and then now I'm going to go in and add sunscreen because even if it's winter, I still need to use sun care. This is my new favorite. It's from the brand Kula, and this is like probably one of the best face sunscreens I've ever used, honestly. It's got no flashback, and it's really lightweight, almost kind of like a jelly formula, and doesn't make me break out, which like is a huge thing because sunscreen always makes me break out and it's SPF 30 unscented I don't know it's just a really good facial sunscreen and I've been really enjoying it so I'm just gonna use what's left of my little sample from professional and I'm just gonna focus it on my t-zone okay so now that I have put all that preparation work on my face it's time to move into foundation and one of my favorites just in general is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation I just find it's got such a natural finish my other favorite is more my other favorite is more so for the summer and it's the Bare Minerals powder foundation but I find that this one in the winter does not cooperate with my skin because it'll get like sometimes I'll get dry patchy areas and it just ends up looking really cakey and like clings to that dryness which I'm not a fan of so I like to stick to liquid foundations in the winter time and I'm putting it out there I don't wear foundation every day I'm like going out with my girlfriends tonight for my friend's birthday and we're gonna be like taking cute insta pics so that's the only reason I'm putting on foundation but I thought I would film it so I'm just gonna dab that all over my face I always start with a really thin layer. You can always build this one up. But. Um, as you can see, I still have a few spots peeking through. So my routine for that never changes. I always just go in with my Boing Concealer from Benefit and a small brush and spot conceal.
Okay, so there's spot concealing done. And then just to brighten up my face a little teensy bit, back then. I'm just gonna go in with a mixture, with a mixture of my Tarte Shape Tapes. These two shades are like so similar, but this one's a little too dark, this one's a little too light. So I'm just gonna mix them. So that's done. Now I'm gonna go in and set all of that with my Laura Mercier. Oh, there's a hair with my Laura Mercier baking powder or translucent powder that I use it for baking. So now I would move on to bronzer and blush. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, the Too Faced medium matte bronzer is my favorite and I just go in with a fluffy brush and focus it on my forehead, tip of my nose, and like cheekbone area. Blush always changes for me just depending on whatever video I'm doing. A lot of the time I just use like a tinted one, but because this is like a full powdered foundation routine, I'm going to use a powder. And that changes a lot. Some of my favorites are the ones from Milani. I have like three different shades in that one. And I really like the Ulta Mineral Blushes, so I'm going to use a mixture of that one today. This one's really comparable to Dandelion from Benefit. And I'm just going to pop that on my cheeks. Okay, so then I finished pretty much my entire base. I'm just going to include one more thing because it's something that I do every single day, daily, and like in um, all of my YouTube videos. It just, it's kind of part of my base because I just love doing it. And that is my fake freckles. Um, I kind of alternate between a few products. My favorite one is Freck. I'm not going to use it in this video though because I'm literally out. And I was hoping it would come in today, but um, it didn't. And But I ordered the new size. If you've seen my fake freckle video, um, I talked about Freck. And I didn't... I like the product, but it was so tiny. It's like this big. And it would literally only last me maybe like three weeks at the most. But they've recently come out with a newer, bigger size. So I ordered that and I'm really excited for it. And if you guys want a little discount um, at checkout, you can use the link down below. And I also have a code, it's DAISY10, I believe. Yeah, that's what it is. So if you guys are interested in that product or how I do my fake freckles, then watch my fake freckle routine. I will also have that link down below. But I'm just gonna go ahead and add a few on my nose and show you guys how I do it. So I just added those and then I'm going to take my beauty blender and kind of go over them just a little bit to make them look more natural. And then my bronzer blush with what's left and rub that all over my face. Okay, so super easy. That's how it looks. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and if you did, then definitely give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't already. And make sure you hit that bell so that you're notified whenever I upload new videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.